Hi, uh, Alabama. I wanted to have a little serious chat for a minute. I want to share what's going on in my life because I think it's important. I always try to stay an open book and keep you in touch with everything that's going on in my life because I think a honesty and transparency is important and I feel like sometimes there are issues that we all deal with and we go through that are hard and I think that it's important to be able to talk about those and not keep them hidden and not talk about the difficult things because maybe maybe I'm going through something difficult in my life that can help somebody else or maybe maybe somebody else will have advice for me that will help me and I just I think it's important so um, I'll tell you what happened what happened this weekend is something happened to my mom I don't know if it was a nervous breakdown or what but my mom's been in the hospital for a few days and the best thing I can get is she's being treated for a psychosis. Um, she just got released this afternoon. I just found out a few minutes ago she just got released, which is huge. But um, it's a really scary thing when something happens to somebody in your life and you can't help and you live far away. My family's in Alabama and I'm here in Chicago. And... Um, this has been a really scary thing for me and my little brothers to deal with because we've never had to deal with anything like this and come together and figure out a way to take care of our parent. And if you know anything about the story and how I grew up, my grandmother, Mima, raised me. And there have been struggles with addiction with my mother. And that's a major reason why I grew up with my grandparents. And, uh, hi Dexter, my kitty's going to comfort me right now. Um, my mom and I have not had the best relationship my entire life. So anyway, what's going to happen is I'm actually going to be driving home to Alabama this weekend to get my mom and bring her back to Chicago to stay with me for a couple of weeks until our months Actually, we have no time frame. We don't know until we can figure out a permanent living situation for my mom and make sure she's okay. I think the big thing is we just want to make sure that she gets better and has a good recovery and she will be fine. But I just, I don't know if anybody's ever had to deal with a parent, not deal with a parent, but take care of a parent. I think this is... This has just been a tough time for me and my brothers. And it's hard, too, when you have a strained relationship with your parent. And it's a very, it's a very ironic thing. I'm definitely going to have a difficult time, I think, going through my own personal emotions with the entire thing. Because it's, I'm going to be taking care of my mom who didn't raise me, which is a very interesting thing. And I love my mom. But the point is, is... You know, even through all the hard things that we've gone through and having a strained relationship with my mother, she's still my mother, and I love her. And every kid who has had a parent that's dealt with addiction or any kind of trouble and lost a parent figure in their life has always just hoped for their parent to get better. And so that's what I hope will happen for my mom. But I think... I just felt the need to share if you're going through the same thing. You know, you're not alone. And the best thing for, you know, that I need and my brothers need is the decisions that we make for our mom right now is we just need support and love, you know. And I just need if, if friends, family, coworkers, bosses, if you if you text me or if you call me in the next couple of days or a couple of weeks and I don't respond right away or if I seem out of it, just, you know, kind of bear with me. It means I'm probably dealing with something at home or my own personal issues or trying to figure out, you know, what the next step with my mom is. So the good news is, is she's out of the hospital as of the past hour and I think she's going to be okay, so... Uh, thank you. Thanks for letting me share. You know, this is always a crazy journey and I never know when I'm sharing too much or whatever, but I do think 
transparency and honesty is really important. And I love everybody who has always supported me and always been there and been a support system for me. I think, you know, you guys, you are a huge part of my support system and that means the world to me. So I couldn't just keep this secret and never tell you. Um, I, I don't know where else to go with this and I don't want to be a sniveling baby and start crying all over my computer. So I just want to say thank you. And, uh, you know, if you're going through the same thing and you need a support system or you want somebody to talk to, you know, I'm here, I'm going through it too. So, thank you.